Hi guys, welcome back to the PC Repair Guru channel. Today we're going to show you guys how to install Spybot on Windows 10. Keep in mind that the Windows 10 was released on the 29 July 2015. And um, let's start with it. Okay, okay, Google, download Spybot for Windows 10. Okay, we do have recently have new information regarding Spybot. So as you can see, the announcement for Spybot, um, there's a 2.5. They are, you know, making a program for the release, the version for two, for Windows 10. That's 2.5. But up until then, you can actually use the 2.4. And let me show you guys how to do that. It's just down here. This is the website you want to go to. It's their own domain website for Spybot. And I'm going to go with the free version. Okay, you got the servers, all the servers you can actually use. So I'm going to pick the first one. Okay. Okay, here it is. 2.4 there. It's going to take a couple of seconds to to download. Keep in mind that 2.4 will work on Windows 10, but they will have a new version for Windows 10 that will be 2.5. They're actually, you know, working on that. So, let's install it. Keep in mind you can install it in any language of these. You know, they have a language installation. Let's stick with English. Allow it. Okay, here you get to decide what you want to use the Spybot for, personal use, or install personal use and want to buy an improved edition, or install use and want to donate now, uh, or use it for business or corporate use, and pre-install it for as a technician. So basically I'm going to install it for personal use and decide later. Uh, with me, I tend to have more to have more control of it. But since I already have ESET that I actually monitor on daily basis, I don't really want to monitor the software. Which, uh, mm, to be honest with you, don't. I tend to install uh, f close to four, four or three softwares, which are mainly installed, and uh, they are. They are Spybot, CC Cleaner, and Malware Bits, and uh, ETSET, ESET. That's uh, close to four programs are installed, and uh, to be honest, with you, I never had any problems with those Windows. You know, with those four programs, you can't go wrong because they actually, you know, work and you know they're reliable. So, okay, I'm gonna install this one. Okay. Okay, now it's uh, installing the service on it. Okay, we'll allow that. Allow update. There goes my phone. Okay. Mostly, I don't really need that when it's in the first meeting. You can actually create a whitelist regarding that. Please provide only fresh and clean system. You can actually do that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to update the software. It's a straightforward update of the software. And basically what you want to do after it's updated, you want to click on here.
So, I just want to quickly just check how fast it's going. It's checking. Drop this runner. Show detail. Okay, I will get back to you guys once this is done. It's going to take quite a lot of time. Mm. Okay. Okay, once it's done, it has updated. You can actually, you know, just double click on the update just to confirm if it's updated a whole lot. Okay, keep in mind if it's your first attempt updating it, it will take quite a lot of time. Okay, this so, uh, yeah, has taken me a good uh, 10 minutes, I would say. And right now it's installing the updates, and that's it. Okay, once you have done that, you might want to click on this. To close Firefox browser and any other browser you got open. All of our browsers. And check the system. So there you have it. Um, I am protected. So apply from there. And what it will do it will apply optimizing your system with all the add-ons and uh, spy adware and uh, spyware all the key key gens key key loggers and all the add-ons basically it will optimize it so that they don't you basically have a chance to actually get into your system so that's all done and just to quickly just to check the system again and that's there there you have it guys how to install spybot and it actually tells you here the software is up to date and you can do the scan if you want to if you do want to do your system scan you can do that it's quite easy to do it's uh, not rocket science also you can also disable the cookies that's depending if you want the third party like uh, any website basically you go on they track you by cookies so if you want to disable it it's your choice and you can scan the system. I'm not going to do it since uh, I just recently installed my Windows. Just recently updated to Windows 10. And just uh, recently had 8.1. Now just a couple of uh, hours ago. I've got 10 now. And I won't be doing that. Okay. And that's about it. That's all you need to do basically. Just keep on the top every week. Maybe every month maybe. Just want to click on update. And click on that. So just, to so just to minimum not save <laughs> okay just to click on that and then just check the system and it's quite simple you know all to go once 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 it's downloaded you want to do this okay quite basic there okay and there you are really mm, there's nothing more I can show you guys here but the startup tool but that's more of an advanced tool basically you don't want to mess around with that since you already have a windows its own startup where it measures see right now it's uh, allowed that i don't want to allow that so basically this is what i got for my startup menu and there you have it really A free edition. Keep in mind, you might want to keep, uh, might want to look out for the 2.5 one. That uh, will be more compatible for Windows 10 as well. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and like the video, guys. Do comment below if you have any problems regarding Spybot installing on Windows 10 or any other related problems. Do comment below. Thank you for watching.